Joe Biden racked up a bunch of endorsements. He got Hillary Clinton. Yes, the queen of warmongers. And he got Nancy Pelosi, the witch. <laughs> and um, he also got Stacey Abrams. Joe Biden, of course, he gets the endorsement from these uh, senior figures in the Democratic establishment. I think they, they all plan to do it at the same time to show that, oh, look, even though Joe Biden is being accused of sexual assault, look, all of these women are endorsing him. So clearly, he's not a rapist. This is their strategy. It's a lot of cringe, but bear with me. So I want to add my voice to the many who have endorsed you uh, to be our president. Just think of what a difference it would make right now if we had a president who not only listened to the science, put facts over fiction, but brought us together. Oh, God. She can't stop with the platitudes, right? They did all of them. All of them. They just can't stop. Oh, uh, we choose truth over facts. <laughs> oh, my God. And then this nonsense. How many of these fucking war criminals do I have to see this week? Today, I am proud to endorse Joe Biden for president of the United States because he will be an extraordinary president. He knows how to get the job done. Elections are about the future. Now more than ever, we need a forward-looking, battle-tested leader who will fight for the people. All right, all right, all right, lady. We heard enough. We heard enough. Go, go back to eating your goddamn ice cream, all right? I wish they would shut the fuck up about it, at least. You know, if you're going to screw over progressives, at least shut the fuck up. Do you have to rub it in our faces? Go back to your fucking mansions and be quiet, goddammit. This is no surprise, okay? The war criminal gets the, the endorsement from the other war criminals, and they all know each other, and they love each other, and they're going to keep bombing Arabs and screwing over working-class people. The show continues. Yay, neoliberalism. So, uh, there you go. And, and remember, this is the same Hillary Clinton... When people brought up the fact that Joe Biden is sniffing women and invading their personal space and basically being a sexual predator, Hillary Clinton, she said that they need to get over it. That's her response, right? I mean, absolutely disgusting. And you know who Hillary Clinton is. Bill Clinton is accused by five other women of sexual assault. And then they're hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein. I mean, the, all of these people are so fucking disgusting. It's, it's absolutely mind-boggling. Right? So no wonder that they, were, they would protect each other and endorse each other. While Hillary Clinton was rambling on about why Joe Biden, the blue rapist, would be better than Orange Cheeto Man, the red rapist, Biden fell asleep. He fell asleep. And Donald Trump's son started mocking him for that on Twitter. I mean, this is just... <laughs> Are women. And one out of three jobs held... She's sleeping? So this is an issue that affects all of us, uh, young and old, every kind. Look at this guy. He's falling asleep while, while being endorsed by, you know, that other war criminal bitch. And Donald Trump, his son is making fun of him. Man, do you see what he said? Biden fell asleep during Hillary's endorsement. Well, they don't call him Sleepy Joe for nothing. My goodness. My goodness. You know, Fox News and the right, they're already having a field day with this, uh, uh, Tara Reid stuff. I think it's for the wrong reasons. They're trying to score political points and, and tokenize her, which I think is disgusting. But they're going after Biden viciously, and they're going to use this dementia stuff, this uh, Sleepy Joe stuff. I mean, look at him. They're going to use that. I, I think Trump is waiting for, you know, the election to ramp up, and then he's really going to start going after him ruthlessly. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, Joe Biden is not winning this thing. And, and you know, the Democrats, they refuse to attack uh, Biden on anything. They refuse to scrutinize him on anything. He's not a rapist. And, uh, you know, he doesn't have dementia and no nothing. He, he can do no wrong. You know, the Democratic nominee is an angel and uh, everything is fine and dandy. And you have to shut up and just accept it. Vote blue no matter who, because uh, orange Cheeto man bad. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. W what does this accomplish? Hillary endorsing Biden? The fucking loser from 2016? endorsing the next loser in 2020 what the fuck are you doing what are you doing dude even if donald trump endorsed biden biden would still lose i can assure you <laughs> this is madness this is really i mean it's one thing for the elites to do the whole circle jerk amongst themselves to do this whole show these theatrics but it's another thing when you have people voters 
and and you know media hacks like genuinely believing that oh yeah, this is a good move this is amazing what man i'm 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 done with this like you you know you just <laughs> You can't reason with these people. Like they just they are willingly actively trying to ignore reality that that this guy's a war criminal. He has very serious allegations of sexual assault being brought against him. He has an absolutely abysmal record when it comes to civil rights, when it comes to mass incarceration, when it comes to social security. I mean every issue. And his platform policy, what the fuck is he running on? What is he running on? You're running for fucking president, motherfucker. President the fucking Oval Office. You're putting this demented goon in the, in the Oval Office. Have you lost it? You know, that's great appeal, man. Well done. Wow. He's falling asleep. Absolutely unreal. I just want to conclude. Just need to hydrate. Fuck Nancy Pelosi. Fuck Hillary Clinton and fuck Joe Biden and fuck the entire establishment. Go to hell.